share with you a content idea creation strategy that's going to make you blow your mind. You're absolutely going to lose your mind over this. It is brilliant. I was I was taught this by one of my all-time favorite mentors and I'm going to share it with you. So do you ever get stuck trying to create content, great content for social media posts, maybe your blog, Instagram, whatever it is. Do you ever get stuck trying to con come up with ideas for your content? Drop me an emoji below if that is you. If you have been stuck, drop an emoji below when it comes to creating content or even the ideas to create content. And especially content that is going to attract the right person to your business and to your brand, the people that you want to do business with. So content creation can be one of the toughest skills for business owners and brands that are building a business online, especially if you're dyslexic, especially if you're ADD, right? Like we all have these things, but content creation is hard even for the everyday entrepreneur and business owner. It takes time to learn. It takes practice to grow. Um, but I want you to know it's a skill and all skills can be learned. And so I'm going to teach you a super fabulous, freaking mind blowing out of this world hack. So you never run out of ideas for content creation. Okay. So, um, I want to remind you before we dive into this, it is more important for you to put out a quality post than it is quantity, okay? If you are posting on your profile more than two times a day, you are creating way too much work for yourself and you're probably not getting the results that you want because they're probably not that great of posts. You're just like, I just need to put something else out. Oh, this, let's see if this works. Like, you know, you're seeing what will stick and seeing what will work. And truthfully, if you just, and I know the time and energy that it takes to put out one great quality post, let alone multiple in one day. Okay. And so instead of seeing what sticks, let's really focus and use what I'm going to share with you today on how to come up with some fabulous, amazing content, okay? I want to invite you to practice this strategy. Practice this strategy by just making one post a day, one quality post a day, okay? All right. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Liz Medley. I teach weekly tips and tricks on um, building a freaking fabulous business, a cool life, and then be able to show up online with confidence. I also created a badass uh, community called Messy Buns in Business. If you're a part of the MBB, drop hashtag MBB below because I see you all on here. I also see some of the fabulous affiliates with Pretty Social. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are at in the world. So let's get right into this. You need a pen and paper handy. If you do not have a pen and paper handy, no big deal. What I want you to do is I want you to say, if you do not have pen and paper, just say Liz List, L-I-Z, L-I-S-T, and Lulubot is going to send you a Facebook message, and she's going to give you the written version of this live video. If you're watching this on YouTube or you're watching this at LizMedley.com, um, that is will not trigger Lulubot. It's only for the Facebook Live viewers. Uh, say Liz List below. If you're watching this on YouTube, the there is a link in the description of the video that you can click. Okay, so before you post, there's a couple things that you need to think about um, before you put this strategy in place, okay? So grab a pen and paper. Go on. Go grab a pen and paper. And I want you to jot down the answers to these questions, okay? Who are you trying to attract on social media with these posts? Who are you trying to attract on social media with these posts? Okay, now we write down five interests that you have. Five things that you're really into, that you are really into. Maybe it's knitting, maybe it's fishing, maybe it's flower arrangements, maybe it is traveling, hanging out poolside, maybe it's socializing with your friends, 
uh, fashion, the, the list is endless, right? Buy things that you are really into. All right. I know you probably don't have five things down, but we're going to keep moving, okay? You can come back to this. You can say Liz List, and Lulubot will get you the written version of this, okay? If you're on YouTube, the descript the link is in the description. If you're on LizMedley.com, there you go. Um, who are the kinds of people that you want to surround yourself with? Who are the kinds of people you want to surround yourself with? Are they party animals? Are they into heavy metal music? Are they kind? Do they go to church multiple times through the week? Do you have Bible study? Do you have reading club? Do you all like vodka? <laughs> Who are the people? Are they loud and obnoxious? Are they driven entrepreneurs? Are they, what, who are they? Who are the people that you hang out with and you want to surround yourself with? What are, what kind of people are they? Okay. Now I want you to think, who are the best customers? What does your ideal customer look like? It's not negative Nancy who no matter what she orders from you, she's not happy, right? So what's the opposite of negative Nancy? Maybe you don't have the dream customer or a dream teammate yet or a dream whatever yet, like teammate. But what would they act like? Who like who would they be? Like who is this dream teammate, right? All right. Uh, what kind of people are they and what are they into? Are they into the same things as you? Do they drag race? Do they, what, who are they? Are they into makeup? Do they love working out? What are they into? Are they male? Are they female? Are they moms? Are they parents? Are they overweight? Are they underweight? Are they ripped? What are they into? What do they like to do? Okay, here's the thing. If you don't know who you're trying to attract, it's really, 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 really hard to speak to them. And when you're creating content, you need to speak to that person. You need to talk to that one person who your message is for, who you want to bring into your business, who you want as a customer. You have to speak to them, to that person, okay? Um, so when you know who you're talking to, your message will be so much more impactful and you'll get results, okay? So now that you know who the person is that you're wanting to attract, let's kind of move on. Or you now know how to figure out who your message is going to be to. You know who you're wanting to bring into your business, okay? You can come back to this. But let's go on to the seven steps to creating amazing content ideas. This is going to be amazing whether it is for a title of a live video, it is for a blog article, it is for a post, uh, maybe it's for a live training. This this strategy can be used. I hear the dog upstairs like making laps. Um, this strategy can be used for all sorts of um, content creation ideas. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to Google.com. Don't use the search bar. I always use the search bar uh, to Google stuff. And I realized that when you use google.com versus the search bar, you actually get different results. So you're going to go to google.com and you are going to do this. Okay, so step one, go to google.com, not the search bar. Step number two is you're going to type in the target person that you're looking for. So example, hairstylist, or maybe it's a working mom, maybe it is a bodybuilder, maybe it is overweight, maybe it's an old person, maybe it is a millennial, right? So whatever your target person is, followed by magazine. So hairstylist magazine, bodybuilder magazine, mom magazine, stay at home mom magazine, uh, millennial magazine, Okay, so whatever you search for, you're going to add magazine to the end of the search. Okay. Crazy. It's getting real crazy, guys. It's getting crazy. And then you click search. Step number three, click search. When the results come up, you guys liking this? <laughs> you excited? I'm so excited because this is so good. Yeah, this is some good shit. You might want to just go ahead and share this with some people because I'm about to drop a like as hot. You click search. The results come up. You click the image tab. Now you see a bunch of images, okay? In the image area, you're going to see rows and rows of magazine covers, okay? Of what you searched for. Hairstylists, bodybuilders, 
moms, magazine covers. Listen, magazine companies hire some of the best copywriters and editors. They pay them a lot of money to create some of the best headlines for these magazines. When you picture at the store, all these magazines, they're competing against each other. What is going to grab your attention? What is a scroll stopper? What is going to make you pick that magazine out of all these magazines? Right? When you're in the checkout line, look at the magazines and the caption titles and the headlines. Right? Especially the ones at the checkout counter. Those are the best of the best. They are there for a reason. Those editors and copywriters are paid a lot of money. Right? A lot of money. And so these are some of the best headlines to get people to buy the magazine. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to, on Google, you're going to scroll through the images and look at headlines and ask yourself if this, if this is a topic, is this a topic that you can create content around? Is this a topic that you can create a post around that has something to do with what you're offering, that has something to do with who you're trying to attract to your business? This can be, you can use these headlines for a title of a live. You can use these headlines for ideas, for a post, for a blog, for an email, whatever you are trying to create content for. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And you'll start to find um, so many ideas, so many headlines that spark so many ideas that you're not going to run out of content ideas, okay? Uh, so step number six is do some do some research on that topic. Do some research. You're like, okay, nine belly fat busters that you didn't know existed. So then you can use that nine belly butt. I should have totally came up with a better idea, but belly belly fat busters that you didn't know existed, and you can research that topic: how to lose body fat, or how to use belly fat, or you know exercises and food tips. And you can research that and come up with some value, right? Research the headline, then the topic that you chose. Do some research, come up with a value, and bam! Step number seven: post it. Step number seven, go live about it. Step number seven, blog about it. Step number seven, put it in an email. Step number seven, post it. Post it. All right? Content strategy is hard. It takes time. But this is going to give you a big advantage over everybody else. A big advantage. It's going to cause people to slow down. It's going to cause people to stop and check out what you're doing. It's going to speak specifically to that person that you're trying to attract. All right? So not only are you going to come up with loads of ideas, you're going to get so much interaction and so many more eyes on your content. You down with this? You down with it? Listen, I invite you to try it out. If you are posting more than one time a day, I want you to try this out and put out one quality post a day. It's not about quantity. That's too hard. And then your posts are competing against each other or neither of them are getting traction. I want you to post one quality post a day. Try it. Try it. See what happens. See what happens to your engagement. See what happens to your following. See what happens to your sales and your bank account. Content creation is so important for any of you watching this that are building a business online. You heard? All right, y'all. Listen, I believe in you, and my wish is for you to believe in yourself. I will see you same time, same place next week right here. Peace out.